The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. Our guest today will be Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Tomorrow we're going to have Paula uh, Douglas on the line. On Thursday, uh, we have none other than Norman, who calls it to the minute, Winsky. And on Friday, we're going to have Shane Smolian. So we've got a nice setup next week. We're going to have, hopefully, Joey D. DiNapoli will be on. But, boy, that dude is really hard to get in touch with. Folks, I posted this chart of the Dow E-mini last night because I set my li uh, limits on when prices are hit, and in the, in the middle of the night, I think it was 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, it hit the, uh, the exact number. I, I saw the, the notation of it later. Everything is after the fact here, but I just want to give you some heads up because these dudes that are out here with these numbers, they play these numbers, and when they go there, you got to pay really close attention to them. Well, when that was happening, I just happened to be looking at that European session with my AI program, and this remember, I didn't do anything with this because it was long after the fact but look at that the exact time that occurred was uh, right about uh, five o'clock in the morning uh new york time which is uh what is that three o'clock in the morning uh tucson time and you can see what's happened we're back uh the e mini's back up to about four uh, it's 44 90 or something i saw last so it's in that area of looking out uh, of what's uh, going on. Yes, the gold trade did not work out very well. You know, it's really funny, folks. Uh, I did that gold trade, uh, selling it up there. It looked like it was going to work uh, this morning. It was had a small profit in it of about oh, a couple of bucks. Then it went out and stopped out. I had more comments about the losing trade in gold than I did in the winning trade in the crude oil. And I, and you know the answer to that was, folks, it was very simple. It was the there's three people, it's no big deal. But uh, they all had the same thing. Well, I didn't do the crude oil. <laughs> anyway, that that's neither here nor there. So heck, you make thirty five hundred in one and lose uh, seven hundred in another, and all of a sudden, no one's coming back to your restaurant anymore. That's certainly okay, boys and girls. Hey, let let's take a quick minute here. I want to talk more about crude in a minute, but th there's something really big happening right now. And I know most of you have maybe looked at it, maybe haven't. But let's take a look here. Uh, well, let me put it up here right now. Here is the Treasury bond market, folks, on a weekly basis. You'll get it up right here. There's where we are. We're a little below the 61% retracement. The ABCD comes in, 125.03. This is the largest of all the commodities that we trade. You see the 382 retracement on the weekly up there. That's when we got super bearish, you know, way back there in September, October, when the bonds were at 160. Uh, eight or 69 and we didn't take all of it we took a nice piece out of it you know you never get the high you never get the low unless you're god and i mentioned she's not trading anymore at the present time but look at this on a shorter term basis i have not even put out a buy on this uh, for the 24 7 and the reason for that is i forgot <laughs> but i would be buying the heck out of these treasury notes or treasury bonds today we're down into this area this the area the old area we've taken that we've shattered all that see so my first support in these bonds excuse me in the notes was at 126.15 i didn't uh I, I, I'm trying to buy the bond, so I didn't buy the notes. That was my projected low uh, in the notes. I don't know how close they came as the low as 126.15, uh, which could check. Someone check that for me, please. Um, <laughs> well, Maria, I am too, dear. Well, the question is, is uh, it should be happening very soon if it's going to be happening. In fact, in the next 10 minutes, we'll see whether that's going to happen or not. But uh, that's that's why I'm watching them very closely. Now, since we're since we're talking about the old bondolis, let me get this up here. You'll be able to see here. Uh, this is what we were looking at here this morning. This is the E-mini. Uh, this is the Dow Jump. Time out. <laughs> judge's ruling. Let's try this again, Larry, with English. We are now looking at the 
U.S. Treasury bond futures. You'll notice we posted this when it was at 153.03. Our projected low was 152.12. Uh, the low so far has been 152.14. So this is a nice pattern. It's over a uh, you know 10-day period. So this this is pretty good. You got the 1.27. You've got the butterfly pattern. Uh, you've got the 135 pattern. All of that lines up. So it's going to be a low risk trade. And I bet you a dollar to a donut. You can't get anybody to buy notes and bonds here. Everybody wanted them at 180, 160, 140, all of those. But boy, down here, nobody wants them. So whether that's going to be something that's going to be of any interest at all, I don't know. But I need to check them right now. So give me one second here where we are. <laughs> Ah, look at them take off. I think they've already made that level. Ah, uh, didn't get filled. Son of a gun. The low was 14. I was trying to buy at 13. Ah, brother. They've already moved a half a buck. I can't. Uh, that was talking about the bonds here. Nothing we can do about that. So let's not worry about it. Okay. Uh, what other one are we watching here that's of interest? Uh, boy, I'm telling you, folks, this is this is, could be a significant bottom here uh, in these notes and bonds. We've been we've had these on our radar for quite some time, and we're at a point where uh, they they could be, uh, you know, just extremely extremely uh, having a really good rally of some, you know, stretching the imagination. It could be. You know the. Let's get this up so you folks can see it on a on a better basis here. Hold on one second here. This is the one we've had uh, on the daily for such a long time. That's just poor trading, Larry. I'm gonna miss it by two ticks. All right, let's uh, see you being the A B C D down there. You mark. You noticed how I marked this uh, this thing in the 1.618. That's the 1.27. We went through that, folks. We went down uh, to the 1.27 of that last swing. So once we went through the 152.27, that's when the alert came on to be a potential buyer of the previous pattern that we just talked about. I hope you understand how that works because what I'm doing is I'm taking longer term trading and moving me into short term trading to show you what I'm looking at. So all I do is I blow this up to say, okay, it went through that number, where is it going to go next? And that's where I came up with that 152.14 number. So uh, that's what we're paying close attention to. We'll see what's happening. Did anybody see what that note bottom was? Because I think it was spot on. And I don't trade the notes. If you trade the notes, you have to put on two contracts to get the same volatility that you get with the bonds. But that's... Uh, that's neither here nor there. So this is going to be uh, what we call a very interesting day. Folks, there's a number out here that you really have to pay attention to pay attention to today. And that's the low of the NASDAQ, 20, 20 cents lower than the, la the, the time out. Uh, it's 20 cents lower than the low of the day, which is at 114.44. Just think of fours. If we go below 114.44, that is not going to be very good for the stock market. It's That's a really important, super, super duper important number that you must, must uh, well, you don't have to, but I would pay, you know, very, very close attention to it uh, uh, if I were you. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I uh, just want to uh, take a quick look here at some of these things that I want you to remember these numbers that I talk about. They work part of the time. They don't work all the time, and that's the real key you know, to what we're watching. The reason why they work is very simple. I'll put this up right here. We've already talked about Mandelbrot and ABCD, but we can go back uh, to about 600 B.C. when we had our good friend, Pythagoras there, and you'll see the Pythagorean theorem all related to the ABCD, the square roots of the hypotenuse, or all those related to Fibonacci numbers. Pythagoras was so smart, folks. He was the first man to ever use the square roots of numbers. I mean, there's just so many things that he did. Uh, he also knew that the distance between the Earth and the Moon was 250,000 miles. He knew the d diameter of the Earth and the diameter of the moon by using his uh, geometry and the shadowing stuff that he did. He was a, st a really strong believer in the astro things like so uh, solar eclipses and the movements between Venus, Mercury, and Mars, which you could see with the naked eye uh, most of the time. But he was just so far ahead of it. He was so far ahead, they asked Albert Einstein once, who were the smartest people to ever walk the planet? The gentleman said, who were the five? He said, well, he said, number one was Pythagoras. He said, there was God and there was man, and in between was Pythagoras. He said, number two, I'm going to have to say it was Leonardo da Vinci. He said, number three, uh, Isaac Newton. I can't remember the fourth one. And he said, the fifth one, of course, was me. <laughs> Albert Einstein. Well, he had some good, uh, what do you call, good vibes as far as his uh, 
uh, optimism on himself was uh, was done. So we got to remember that, which is really good. Now, I just think that there's a real possibility today we could get a substantial thing happening here with these notes and bonds. And that may be what is causing the stock market having such a big run here. You know, we've had a we've moved to 200 handles. I think we have, haven't we? Or more? Well, no, a little more C4 to six. Yeah, we've moved 250 handles in the uh, E-mini NASDAQ in the matter of one hour, and that's so it's moving pretty good. And we've had the S&P move about 30 handles, a little more than 30 handles. That's another one jumping around quite a bit. So we have to pay, you know, really, really close attention to that too. So these are just the many things that are going on uh, today. So we'll be watching them closely uh, as we always do. And Jeff Huge will be our uh, guest as we come through here. Now, here's I'm going to talk just a little bit about overall charting and stuff, folks, because you know you, you hear all kinds of things in the news, and you got to believe it. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But look, look what's happened. Just to show you an example here, we, we brought this to your attention before. This is the price of Google, folks. Look, we made a three drive to a top pattern back on November the 22nd. Then we make a perfect one three five pattern where one and three and five are all symmetrically related to the harmonic harmonics of 618, 786, and uh, 127, and 1618. We break all the way down to 2510. And hold on here. Um, yeah, hold, yeah, just uh, hold on just a second here. I've got to change a little something here called an order. <laughs> Bear with me here. Uh, it's hard to do everything at once, folks, but i got to do it. Uh, and look at look what's happened, folks. They came out and say we're going to split 20 for 1. Of course, that split's not till July. But the main thing that you're looking at here is look at this high, folks. They opened this stock up. Oh, can you believe it? 350 points. We take out the high of December. Wow. This is a $3,000 stock. It took out the high in December by $4. If you were a trader in Google and you couldn't take advantage of that, you should turn in your chart pencil and run away. I mean, because look at that. You, it goes from 300 it, The high was by $4 more. There was nothing up there but air. And that's why it's so important. Speaking of air, I want to show you what's happening now because the same thing that was happening now is what happened back in 1991 when I was telling the story yesterday about John and his, his uh, trading at the Goodyear Tire and Rubber for the Alaskan Pipeline and how the premiums were. And you can see here, look at this, the premiums on your Brent crude oil and your options for uh, December are $120 a barrel. Look at the premiums on these folks. I mean, they're giving money away if you're selling calls up in here. And now selling calls up in there, gee, gee, that don't look too bad, does it? Well, golly, Gomer, maybe we got something here. That's all I can tell you. You just got to jump on these things once in a while because when those, when those ABCDs do land and sometimes they land right on your lap, you want to be able to take advantage of them. And that's all it is, folks. It's nothing more than a pattern. Nothing more, nothing less. And, you know, I don't I don't care if people, you know, tell me, hold on, I'll get it up here to show you again. You know, some of these work, some of these don't. And I understand I get three emails about, gee, how come we took a loss in the gold? Well, that one didn't work. Well, the crude oil worked. Well, I didn't take that one. That's all part of trading, folks, and you got to take responsibility for that. That's the best I can do. I can show you these patterns. And remember, if you're right about 50% of the time, and we do quite a bit better than that. We're closer to about 65%. But the other, you know, and we break even a lot. You know, we put our stops at break even on a lot of things. And that, uh, you know, prevents us from taking big losses and things. And we miss a few moves. But it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. You've got to you've got to put that in your quiver for your, when you pull out an arrow, that that's the main one. Uh, you got to protect your, your bacon. That's the main thing. Remember, uh, um, Warren Buffett's rules is number one rule, don't lose money. And number two, don't break rule number one. Well, that's uh, the name of the game. And you've got to be able to remind ourselves of that each time we trade because there's nothing any more frustrating than the thinking you know more about these markets uh, than they know about you. And that's not going to happen. So uh, just keep that in mind. Okay, now I want to uh, move back just uh, just a little bit. Uh, please give me one more tick. Give me one more tick, Mr. 
uh, Count Western General, what it was. All right, I wanted to just one more time on the Bitcoin. Here is the chart we posted yesterday because we made a ABCD in Ethereum up there at uh, 30, uh, 32, 3240, I believe, or something like that, was the uh, 382 and the ABCD. Now, the, the 382 on the Bitcoin itself, this is Ethereum, on the 382 on Bitcoin doesn't come in to 46,000. We only got to 44.5, I believe. I don't know where it's trading today, but uh, just a lot of things happening. I don't know what's going on if there's anything astrological or not, but uh, there's a, a lot of things happening here uh, in the market these days. So I think it's uh, this is day when you really want to pay attention, especially when you got notes and bonds, because that one has been uh, beaten up, you know, uh, quite a bit. And it, it's due for something, you know, pretty dramatic. I was going to do 2LT, do TLT, but it frankly uh, was really, uh, hold on just a second, get this one up here. This is the one, here is the one I was watching here uh, in the uh, Treasury notes for today. Uh, if we were to get that low, I don't believe we did. I know we got to really close to uh, 126.02. Could someone tell me how low we got in the Treasury notes today? Because 126 was, uh, was uh, what's going on with that. Yeah, I know the crude oil is down 240 a barrel today, which is good. Okay, that's right in the ballpark, so uh, it's still a little low. Hey, listen, we got Jeff Huge Alpha Insights coming up. So stay with us, boys and girls, 877-927-6648. trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ADC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com.
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Jeff, how are you doing today? Oh, Larry, how are you? We're for good. Jeff, I have a question. I am uh, something I've not seen before. What do you mean when you're talking? I posted the chart in here of the trend analysis binary. Could you explain to me? This is a beautiful chart. And it makes a lot of sense. But what, what, are you, what are you showing here? What do you mean by binary? Okay, so, uh, Larry, what I mean basically is the market has to make a decision one direction or the other. Uh, okay. Binary means it's either up or it's down. And so... You know, we've we've kind of arrived at this neutral juncture where we've, you know, broken the short term trend, but we're holding the intermediate term trend, and okay. the support level is about forty three hundred and around the fifty five week simple moving average, but we've also broken down below um, initial support, which is around forty five hundred, and the fifty fifty five day uh, exponential moving average, which is a little bit above there, and so. Once the market recovers the 55-day, we can say that that binary um, condition has been resolved to the upside. But if it fails below the 55-week simple moving average, then we can say that it's resolved to the downside. Okay. Well, now, now that make that makes uh, perfect sense. That's for sure. Now, the, the hold on one second. I've got to get your mm -hmm. check your next chart out on the Elliott wave count because you're really good with this stuff, and I'd sure like to get your feedback. This is your uh, preferred Elliott wave count that we're looking at here. Yes. Um, so on the left side, what we're really doing is looking back over two years to the March 2020 lows, and we're counting. Um, a progression that should ultimately be five waves to the upside, an impulse progression. And, and within that, we can see that there's a subdivision between wave two and wave three that counts very nicely and holds a very, very specific trend channel. Now, that trend channel has been broken, and that's got a lot of people concerned. But what we're thinking is that it's really wave four. And it's a complex uh, corrective waveform known as a double irregular flat correction. And it's quite textbook. If you look on the right-hand side of this diagram, you'll see a, um, a magnified version of that where they, we show in detail exactly how this pattern conforms to the textbook uh, expectations. And we've got basically um, you know, a, a three-wave move to the upside that uh, makes a slight higher high, and then it breaks down and makes a slight lower low than we saw previously. And so that is what really is designed to confuse market participants, but actually plays right to that corrective patterns, you know, textbook expectations. And the fact that it's holding very well above that key support level of around 4,300 and that 55-week simple moving average leads us to believe that we're now in the process of, of this final fifth wave advance. And so we've made two progressive moves up. We've counted it as a one, two, one, two. And the next big move to the upside should be a third of a third. It should be very dynamic. And we would expect it to carry to new all-time highs, at which point we'd be able to project an upside target to S&P 500 5,400. Hello, operator, Starship Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> 5,400 in the S&P, we're trading at 4,500 right now? It would be quite a move, wouldn't it? And, um, you know, yep. that's why we're saying this is a binary condition. We don't want to go all in just yet. But as we see yeah. progress develop, we want to be ready to get on this because we're able to see, yeah. you know, with a fairly particular roadmap exactly where we're going once <laughs> these uh, moves occur. Wow. I think you should change that. Instead of binary, you should put it as coronary because that, that, you know, <laughs> that, that's what it's looking like. Hey, I like your part here about the positive breath divergence. You want to tell the folks what they what you're showing on that? Because that, that's really a – you can see tremendous divergence there. Sure thing. This is um, part of the supporting evidence to that bull case. So – Normally, when we talk about breadth divergences, we're looking at negative divergences, trying to confirm that a top's in place, where we're seeing, you know, the advanced decline line failing to confirm on the upside. Well, here we're looking at the exact opposite expectation. 
And, and we, you know, lest we forget this relationship works in both directions, right? And so uh-huh. what we've seen is we've seen a lower low in the S&P 500. If you take a look at the bottom panel, yet the uh-huh. advanced decline line, which is a cumulative measure of uh, the S&P 500's breadth, actually made a higher low. That symbolizes stabilization or broadening out relative to that past December low. And so that's a condition that generally precedes an advance or a resumption of an uptrend, at the very least a strong rally. And certainly that's what Uh. we've seen off the Jan 24 low. And so the real question in our mind is, you know, how important was that January 24th low? Was that the wave four low that we just identified the Elliott wave count? And is this supporting evidence confirming that? And all we need to do is we need to see that advanced decline line make a new high to confirm it. And frankly, we're only about 125 handles away at this point. So that seems like it's a reasonable achievement. You also, this next one, uh, your investment sentiment. Boy, you can see everybody's scared. I mean, this is the kind of thing that... uh, makes for good buying opportunities and my goodness that could certainly be one that's a one that's almost an historic uh uh number here for quite some it years is exactly isn't it? a historic number uh, larry that is an absolute record and so what we're looking at is we're looking at the total u.s equity futures spec <clears throat> positioning so it's not long or short it's total right and so uh-huh. speculators liquidated they liquidated both their long and their short positions uh, in size, okay, uh, more than a 40% drawdown in spec positioning entirely. That liquidation of open interest is is um, really representative of extreme fear. The, you know, this lack of conviction on either direction, just total fear. And what fear means is that you've washed out, you've liquidated all of those those. Um, excesses that would normally be built into the market that need to be corrected they're out of the market at this point and so now it's back to a point where we need to you know climb that wall of worry and that's usually a great setup going into um the next leg of the advance and that's why i think if we build upon all the evidence i've laid out right here it's really tilting the odds in favor of a resumption of the bull market advance and new all-time highs in the not too distant future Wow, that's really something, Jeff. I really like that. Uh, we've got a break coming up, but we can cover this uh, growth stock uh, chart that you have here because I uh, I find it very interesting, but uh, also I don't do stocks. So could you tell us what you're looking at, value versus growth? Yeah, absolutely. This is um, uh, a ratio of the value index versus the growth index, and we're using actually pure value and pure growth, which means that there's no overlap between the constituents. Normally, if you're looking at like the Russell value versus the Russell growth, it's the same body of stocks with different weightings. And so here we just have value stocks versus growth stocks. And what happens is when that ratio is pointed down, growth is is outperforming. And when it's pointed up, value is outperforming. Well, we've seen a, a marked change over the last two years as values put in a double, or the ratio is put in a double bottom. And wow. value has started to truly exert itself. And wow. we expect that relationship to resolve to the upside. And that should uh, be the leadership for the foreseeable future. Hey, Jeff, stay with us, please. We'll be right back, folks. Jeff Hughes, Alpha Insights. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC. 
LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're chatting with Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights. And Jeff, you're talking about treasury yields on this next uh, uh, chart here about breaking out. Uh, you want to tell the folks what you're expecting here? Yeah, um, it's, it's happening, Larry. It's not even an expectation anymore. Um, you know, rates <laughs> yeah, are that. rising. <laughs> that, yeah. that, that much is clear, right? We've already broken out of what I would define as um, – a classic pattern-based formation of the inverted head and shoulders variety. And we've taken out that neckline, and we're now taking out the high point of the left shoulder. And with the close above uh, 193 the other day, that gives us a lot of confidence that, um, you know, uh, we're moving higher. And usually the way these patterns project upside is the depth of the base of the pattern is projected off the the right-hand side of the pattern. And if we do that, um, we get to about 3%. And the question wow. is, how quickly can we get to 3%? Well, I look at how quickly we got from 3 to 2, and that took just nine months. And so these patterns tend to resolve symmetrically. So it would not surprise me at all to see us trading with a 3% 10-year note yield uh, by wow. year end. Wow, that's that's really cool. Now, there's the next one here. I don't quite understand because I'm not a stock person, but uh, we'll take a look at this. And this is the one where you're looking at the value between the high the high correlation to value. Yeah. So, um, you know, what we've done is we've taken that chart of the uh, value to growth ratio again, and we've overlaid on top of it the 10-year U.S. Treasury yield looking back the last 15 years. So uh, Treasury yields are in red. The, the value growth ratio is in black, and you can see that there's a very high correlation. Uh, when one's going down, the other's going down. When one's going up, the other's going up. And not perfectly correlated, obviously, but about 83% correlation, which is exceptionally high. And so what it's saying is if we're right about rates going to 3%, uh, then value stocks are going higher as well, and so relative to growth. And so what I think is really happening, if we're going to sum this all up, is that we've got a shift taking place underneath the 
surface of the index whereby value stocks are starting to re- really reassert themselves and they tend to be highly correlated to rising interest rates, which is also an overlaying dynamic because of inflation and because of the Fed's um, commitment to battle inflation. And so as the Fed raises rates, uh, we're, it's likely that we'll continue to see this um, 10 year yield expand higher and value stocks will tend to outperform growth stocks in that realm. And so it's basically a new regime. Yeah, wow. This is really cool stuff. Now, I want to bring the next one up, which because uh, it's Rayathon Technologies. We have a huge uh, Rayathon plant here. Uh, I see it's breaking out. Does this have any relationship to war? Because I know they make a lot of, lot of war materials. I just wondered if, uh, if that it, could I, be I it. I agree. It, I, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that we've got uh, – you know, build up the troops on the border of Russia and Ukraine. Uh, the Ukraine has been deploying uh, Raytheon's Patriot uh, defense uh, missile defense system. And um, that happens to be the biggest division at Raytheon. So it's definitely going to show up in the numbers because their sales are going to skyrocket in the first quarter as the Ukraine uh, takes delivery of all these new missile defense systems. Um, so that's the fundamentals behind it. But you can also see a big technical development here, and that is a big inverted cup and handle base formation that has mm-hmm. broken out to a new all-time high yesterday. And I think today, actually, as well. And so... Uh. You know, what we're looking at is we're looking at a resolution to the upside of these these um, range consolidations, right, in this big, large base, which gives us a count to at least $106 near term and longer term yeah. about $138. Now, what's yeah. really interesting is Raytheon is not only um, uh, a stock that's just got a nice pattern, but it's a relative strength leader. It's beating the S&P 500. It's, le- it's beating the S&P industrial sector, and it's actually beating – the um, pure value index as well. So it's, it's beating on a sector, a style, and an index basis. So this is a leadership stock that's breaking out with great technical foundations that looks to me like we can resolve to the upside with you know better than three to one positive risk skew for those who uh, want to play this thing for a trade. Wow, that's a, that's a really a beautiful path. You gave us one on Apple that worked out uh, really well. It went into new high ground by quite a bit. So Arayathon's got a lot of, you know, I think positive news things that could make this thing really good. And other people, I believe, are seeing that. And so uh, that'd be something that I'd have I, a handle on it if I were you. Now, I want to post your uh, information on how the folks can reach you. It's, uh, it's His website is www.jwhinvestment.com. Jeff Huge. Twitter is alpha at slash insights. And we have it linked in at Jeffrey W. Huge CMT. Anything else you'd like to add, uh, Jeff? Well, sure, Larry. If you follow me on LinkedIn, I'm sorry, follow me on Twitter, you can sign up for my free newsletter, which I publish every month. And uh, it's just a great recap of some of our recent thoughts and ideas. So, you know, I'd encourage you to do that. You can find me at Alpha underscore Insights and just sign up for the free newsletter. Wow, that's great. Hey, listen, we're going to have you on again in a couple of weeks. I, I, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, Chief, since 1959, and you're right at the top of the list. i got to give you triple gold stars with diamonds because you do great work. You explain it clearly, and it fits in with the things that we look at for technical analysis. So Je- thanks for joining us, Jeff. You're, you're really fun My to, pleasure, to talk Larry. to. My pleasure, Larry. I appreciate the endorsement. Oh, well, it's uh, it comes from my heart, my friend. I don't get any kicks back. I mean, we should talk about that. No, I never have taken that. Anyway, you do a great job. We'll have you on again in a couple of weeks, okay? Take care now. Okay, Bye-bye. Bye. You bet. Jeff Hughes, folks, Alpha Insights, and we got the market smoking and joking. We got the S&P up here at 4506, and NASDAQ is uh, flirting with the 78% level that uh, looks like a The Dow Jones Industrial Average is headed towards that Venus-Mars conjunction that we have coming in pretty soon, which is way up in the air, and everything looks good. So we'll see how it ends up today, because that's going to be an interesting thing to look at. Uh, We've had a uh, bounds are still down on the day, but they're fighting their way back. The low was uh, 152.14, and uh, right now they're up about 10 points, up to uh, 155.25. Nothing, you know, really uh, uh, dramatic going on there. So those are just a couple of the things that we're paying attention to today. The real figure to watch today, folks, is that NASDAQ uh, low, because uh, if by any chance we go below 
uh, 14,450 today in the NASDAQ. That's 240 handles from where we are. But, you know, we've seen these things evaporate uh, at times. So pay very, pay very, very close attention to that because it's a real interesting one to uh, uh, pay attention to because uh, we're having some great volatility and it's going to continue for sure. And that's the one thing that we really enjoy is to see this volatility. Watch these notes and bonds, folks. They have a tendency to uh, surprise everybody. And the whole world is negative right now. You remember when they were... When they were trying to feed us the old uh, pablum or tapioca, that there was zero interest rates coming, negative interest rates, get on board now. And when was that? Oh, yes, that was at the top of the market. So what they tell you and what they do is two different things, Bubba. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted the chart of the uh, European session of the E-mini S&P and overlaid the AI uh, program over it. I thought I'd update you uh, this morning. This is what the uh, the forecast was uh, set for. That was uh, early in the morning. You see uh, 10 o'clock right when we were going on the show. I posted it uh, right before that. And so what I thought I'd do just for kicks and giggles is just to see how well it's doing. Remember, these things fail a lot, but so far it's acting pretty much uh, 
you know what we're looking at here and as you can see here we uh, we may be looking in for maybe a topping action here in the market where the Dow Jones might back off 15 points and the S&P might back off three or four points who knows uh, but remember tomorrow we hope to have Paula Douglas as our guest uh, the key number to watch today folks is in the Nasdaq if we make new lows uh, lights out uh, that's going to be really bad uh, if we do that that's a long way but 250 points in the Nasdaq can be handled as you see on the way up it took well over an hour and a half to make 250 handles and sometimes the way prices go up or the way prices go down whether that happens uh, or not that's the main thing you know to pay close attention to it Jeff Huge made some really good cases for the market going a lot higher it certainly could do that but it be before I uh, throw in the Indians and the towels and all that stuff I'm going to have to see it print above uh, uh, one above 46 uh, in the uh, no excuse me 45 uh, 85 if I see 45 85 in the e-mini S&P I will uh, put the white flag up bow to Mecca and thank everybody for being in this business and Walter and I will move out into the desert uh, searching for beautiful rocks that we'd like to find every once in a while two things there a I've never been on a on a on a donkey and two I don't go out in the desert looking for rocks so I try to find pebbles here in the market and the, my pebble today is notes and bonds watch them folks they might have a rally uh, and if they if they close really badly today below all these numbers just get out of the way because rates are going to go higher and higher and the bonds are going to be you know but i can't recommend being short bonds and notes in here folks it's it meets all my objectives we'll be back with you tomorrow live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless